Hello friends, welcome back once again to the live video of XBHP and right now we are live on XBHP Think Talks. So every time when we go live, we bring some interesting personalities who are related to motorcycling or they are motorcyclists themselves. So we discuss with them, we talk to them and share their experiences with you. And if you have some questions, you can throw them on the comment section here and I may go ahead and ask that the person who is there as our guest so in that series today we have a very interesting person uh, interesting personality rather with us uh, who has come up with an idea that why not make a bag that can actually also protect your back so <laughs> i think that is something which i have just come up uh, in my mind so i think without further ado let me just uh, call him and uh, bring him on the screen I'm sure you all must have already seen who is he, but here he goes. Welcome, Pradeep. So, Pradeep, Hi. welcome to our show. Thank you so much for uh, taking out time. And I believe uh, everybody can see what's there in the background. And that actually excites a lot of bikers. So, why don't yeah, you just quickly yeah, go course. ahead and... <laughs> yeah. So, why don't you just quickly go ahead and uh, tell people more about you and Carbonado and... How come you have come out with this beautiful concept? Okay, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Pradeep, Pradeep Reddy. I'm sure uh, you've seen it on the screen. Uh, I'm one of the co-founders of uh, this brand, uh, Carbonado. We have started this company in uh, 2016 as a B-plugged IoT Private Limited, and we've uh, ventured into an idea of making uh, the perfect backpack, which we've felt there's not not much in the market right now what we've seen uh, you know there was a lot of vacuum in the market where uh, very well designed backpacks weren't available so we thought why can't we make a backpack which can you know look cool at the same time secure your gear inside the backpack and uh, you know one of the kind where it can look very luxurious as well so that's when we came up with this idea I mean, Rashad and myself, my partner Rashad and myself, we've come up with this idea and try to, you know, make this product from the scratch. And uh, we've ensured that we make everything here. Uh, you know, some of the products, I mean, some of the materials we've imported, but most of the product has been designed here and developed here in India in one of the factories based out of Bangalore. So that is great. And that is very crisp. And I'm really, uh, uh, Proud to say that, as you have said, that most of the product, uh, most of the entire product is made, assembled, built here in India. So okay. what has uh, like, okay, now let me just come up, come back to my simple question. How vocal are you about being local? So you said like uh, most of it, how much like uh, what percentage of the entire bag or the rest of the range of the products are made in India? So uh, if, if you have to really calculate the percentage part of it, you know, the material, obviously the, the whatever you, the fabric part of it is imported uh, from uh, most part of the China and otherwise the other accessories, what you look at from the pullers to all the other uh, uh, fittings, what goes inside the bag is pretty much uh, from India. So the reason we are trying to uh, make sure that it is going to be a, a make in India product, we are trying to develop ancillary units across uh, uh, our uh, segment. And uh, we will achieve uh, in next six months, uh, it will be a completely 100% uh, made in India backpack. Lovely. Not so that just is really the Carbonado, I'm sorry, uh, not just the Carbonado GT2, what I'm talking about. Uh, most of the products, what we are doing, the all the array of products which are, we are coming up in the next couple of uh, months or the years to come, we would mm -hmm. want to make sure that they are all uh, made here. I and mean, obviously, we have designed everything locally. We have uh, a complete R uh, research and development team. Uh, we've designed uh, here everything. And we are also making it here. We right now uh, the the place you see around. We are sitting in a, a twelve thousand uh, square feet uh, state of art uh, research and develop and design center. We have uh, entire production happening uh, just uh, just beside uh, this place. So that's that's about it. Lovely. So you did mention about an array of products. Why don't you just tell us more about like what all other products? Because I know two of them. So before you go ahead and uh, tell them, uh, tell about them, yeah. I would like to uh, show the people uh, that two products that I am talking about, 
One definitely is the GT2, the beautiful looking GT2 uh, that we have recently launched uh, in collaboration with you. So it, this is the XPHP Carbonado GT2 that we have recently launched. People can actually go ahead and buy this. I have actually done a detailed uh, live video about it, uh, telling about the product. And then the other product here is there on your screen, which is actually very, very handy. Uh, it is the Carbonado Vector. People may believe or may not believe uh, me, but honestly, I use it every day. I'm actually using it right now as well. Uh, so that is... Uh, I'm glad I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, I can I can show you <laughs> like this. Here it is. <laughs> so that was yeah. a flap of it. So uh, yeah. So uh, cool. Now coming back to you, uh, what are the uh, rest of the range of products that we are talking about? Because you said there is an array of uh, products that is uh, yeah. there in the armory of Carbonado or in the mines of Carbonado. Because I believe Carbonado yeah. is what? It's a diamond, right? Yeah, it's actually a scientific name for a black diamond, that's Carbonado. So the reason we've chosen that name specifically because we want to uh, make sure that it is secure, you know, the gear inside is secure. So we want to name it something very strong. So Carbonado right. being the black diamond is one of the toughest uh, uh, materials in the world. So we, we there is no brainer in it. We've straight away named it. So I, we are happy that a lot of people have liked the name and the logo everything around it. So I, I think Pradeep, uh, your Bluetooth has fallen behind. So your voice. Okay. Yeah. So you may have okay. to bring it. Yeah. Forward. Better. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Perfect. Maybe you can, if you can just bring it a little forward. Yeah, it's perfect now. Yeah. Because your voice is breaking. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. So you are talking about the uh, line of products that you have besides these two. Okay, uh, we have. Uh, I, I would like to uh, share a little story behind it. Why uh, the entire uh, mobility gear, uh, what we are doing right now, is uh, because of the entire the fraternity or the biking community, the way they have supported us so far from the time we've launched this product in the month of uh, uh, December 2018. Uh, from then, there were these uh, few customers who have, uh, we've launched it on a crowdfunding platform. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people are aware about it. And there were this few hundred uh, customers, the first hundred customers who bought it without any kind of uh, no, no whereabouts about our company, nor our brand, nor the product details. They were you know, ready to wait for the product for the, the first two months. And we were able to deliver it only after the two months. And that's where the whole brand started out. And then we had come up with this idea of why not make this a product also for the uh, biking fraternity because it is sturdy. It can take a lot of gear in it. And also it is aerodynamic. So we've pivoted a little bit as a model and ensure that this backpack can also cater to the riding community. Uh, we would never say it as a complete riding backpack, but it would definitely serve as a commuter backpack, which can take care of your, uh, you know, not too long rides. I'm sure you guys have taken it to a very long rides, but, you know, we've always thought that it can take care of your shorter rides and take care of a lot of gear, your cameras to, you know, a couple of laptops, your tablets, lots of uh, cables and all that. So that's where we've pivoted. And thanks to the industry, thanks to the community, they have accepted it so beautifully. There were a lot of problems. We've listened to the customers. They've guided us through how to make it more premium, more, you know, uh, uh, the ease of use is there in the backpack and all that. So it, it went ahead and uh, it became the Carbonado has suddenly became the, the uh, backpack for the riding community. So that gave us a lot of impetus to, you know, take it to the next level and start giving more products. You know, we want to give back to the community as well. So that's when we started the research uh, you know, where we've introduced a very small, uh, this thing, the uh, type, uh, type watch, we call it as uh, a vector. We thought it can be handy for a lot of uh, bikers to, you know, to reach out to their quick, uh, uh, you know, whatever they want to kind of pick up immediately, not to reach out to their pockets while riding. So we've come up with that. And that experiment was another amazing success for us. We've sold quite a good number of, uh, uh, you know, vectors in, in, in the India market. And then, yes, uh, as I said, we've, started the research towards, uh, uh, you know, luggage systems for the uh, riders. So then we've come up, we are coming up as we speak, there is a development happening for a lot of uh, 
uh, uh, riding gear. When I say riding gear, it is the tank bags, tail bags, saddle bags. You know, whatever you require for a biker to comfortably tour for a longer. We are coming with, as you know, Kapnado. We just don't do products for the sake of doing it. We put in a lot of effort, lot of research into it, uh, in making every little detailing of it. And that's what we're doing right now. And uh, next couple of months, you would see a lot of products coming in. Yes, there was a delay uh, because of the pandemic. I wouldn't acknowledge because there is a lot of chaos around. You know, a lot of industries and a lot of things couldn't progress for the last six months. So yes, we are back on track, and we are very confident things will progress in the next couple of months. And we are looking forward to all of the products to be launched. No, that is that is great. So you actually told a lot. Uh, I I think uh, is it, is your Bluetooth working? Because I think it seems yeah, I yeah, yeah, because yeah, the wow, the sound has changed. So uh, yeah. yeah, so you have actually uh, dropped some kind of Easter eggs here, because I was actually about to ask you like, is there anything specific that is coming out from your uh, product line which is specifically for the bikers? So I think you did mention about some of the products like uh, tank bags or the saddle bags or something like that. So uh, out of curiosity, I would like to know: Will they also be having some kind of uh, hard shells? Just curious. Out of curiosity, I'm asking. Uh, I wouldn't say it will be a definitely a hard shell, but yes, we've ensured that the security is taken care of. Uh, uh, you know, in terms of the. Uh, you know, basically the reason we haven't used hard shell for the saddle bags is there is always uh, the scope for the bike to, you know, trip and all that. But for polycarbonate shell, the the likeliness of it breaking is quite high. So we've used another material which is again a sub sub suspense. I wouldn't want to reveal that. So we've okay. used another material uh, which is gonna take care of the sturdiness and also the. The form and the shape. I mean, I'm sure you understand Carbonado backpacks or any other gear. What we do, it's known for it. Uh, it form based. I mean, we call this as a there's a new trend. Probably last couple of years, it's been running across the world, where there are a lot of people making form based backpacks. So we are also following that similar trend. We are doing form based based backpacks and all the uh, series of luggage systems, whatever we are doing it, mostly gonna be form based. Right, so that is that is really good. And actually, somebody has uh, asked this particular question, so I'm just reading it from the comments. Somebody has okay. asked you uh, specifically, uh, although it is very uh, clear answer. So, uh, Kalpa, I would like to say that why don't you just go ahead and head to the XBHP's uh, shop section on the website, or maybe go on the uh, Carbonado's website. You will get to know. But the question was like, what is the cost? And how to buy? So I have actually answered your question. You can simply go ahead, go to the uh, XBHP shop, uh, shop section, or go to the Carbonados website and buy from there. And actually, for that, right now there is a discount going on, seventeen percent discount that you can get uh, on both the products, both the uh, XBHP products, whether it is your GG2 or whether it is your uh, Vector. You just have to use a code, which is XBHP17. So uh, you can go on the website. You will actually get to know about it. So that is what. Now coming back to the uh, point here. Okay, another question that we have got here from Rakesh. So Dr. Rakesh has asked. So Dr. Rakesh himself is a scientist. So <laughs> so he says, uh, can we expect a charging facility for riders using solar on back uh, backpacks? Question for you. Yeah, I mean, we definitely. I mean, that's pretty obvious that a lot of people want this, and uh, a lot of people have been trying, uh, you know, to get something like a solar facility on the backpacks, you know, to charge it while on the go. But I mean, there we've tried a couple of times. Being very honest, we've tried a couple of times. The technology is not being developed so much where uh, things have not been. Uh, uh, I would say the ease of use or the they are not that good, to be honest. I mean, we've tried a couple of. I'm um, obviously we had pick up from China off the shelf. We didn't have that kind of uh, facility or nor the, the the technology within the country where we could make it from the scratch. So we had an interdependency. So the the idea behind Carbonado is another most important thing which I want to tell you of yours and people who are listening here. So the idea is to not become too much of dependent on uh, a technology. When I say tech, it 
completely uh, goes into china for most of the parts yes we are looking forward to collaborate with local indian companies who can help us with this kind of tech which is pretty much available we would rather put it as part of backpacks and go ahead i mean i would call for a lot of people whoever the tech companies can help us build something like this then we are very much open to do it i would rather put the entire solar uh, sheet pasteable sheet if there is something like that available put it on the entire shell and probably uh, on the go it can be charged your phone or your gear everything inside that's perfect and that's that's actually great and uh, so somebody has actually asked me like uh, not me actually there is a question so i i was a part of odyssey so i took that question on me how was your experience in riding uh, in great asian or great asian odyssey it was not great indian odyssey it was great asian odyssey uh, kalpa so experience was amazing and uh, truly uh, truly speaking i was using the bag and I'd rather everybody who was there on the ride was using uh, carbonado bags so uh, before uh, i go ahead i would like to show so this is one of the photos uh, this is uh, lao actually th this photo was taken in vientain uh, i remember this place was called as buddha garden or buddha park something like that yeah buddha park yeah so there we had i think more than uh, hundreds of buddha statues and the entire experience was awesome like it was like I you could question is how was the experience with the backpack my experience yes my experience was good <laughs> and uh, honestly uh, i i really feel that is my personal opinion you guys can actually go ahead and try uh, bags for yourself and you will get to know about uh, yourself that how does it feel but personally my experience says Let I will say how many kilometers have you ridden with the backpack, man? That will help uh, us tell people to, you know, kind of okay. understand and. Uh, so I'll tell you for that. I have actually two of your uh, carbonado bags right now here. <laughs> one that I used in Odyssey, and one that I bought. I think that was the uh, first bag that I got from uh, the big biking commune, right? When you had a stall over there. I still have that bag. Let me just show you. There it is. I still have that sticker. Wow. Remember this. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so it still it looks as, absolutely. So it still looks very uh, new, and uh, I've used it for almost two years now. I think yeah, I think more yeah. than two years now. So uh, yeah, close to that. Close to two years, and still uh, I'm using it. So there must be a reason, and uh, the reason is that I feel that my uh, stuff inside the bag is safe, and. Uh, for some reason i i feel that i also have a little added protection because of that uh, hard shell i don't know why i just have that feeling i think that is one of the uh, uh, one of the features about the hard shell because i remember you told me about it uh, that it can bear a weight of up to 100 kg 1050 newtons of force wow so that is big enough that is uh, a lot of force that this bag can actually take so definitely your stuff is safe and if you are wearing it and god forbid if you fall it will give you some no they were i mean being honest to add to that manan i mean there were couple yeah. of accidents from one of our couple of our customers and mm -hmm. they came back to us they they have told us yes i mean we had accidents and uh, we had we have tripped over it and all that i wouldn't say it has safeguarded their back but they would they have told us that it definitely has safeguarded their uh, gear inside they had dslrs and they had uh, expensive laptops inside most important thing right now i guess is uh, data which has been protected so they were very thankful i mean obviously the shell got bruised and all that but they were very very thankful to the entire thing wow i mean this has saved i mean saved our uh, stuff inside pretty much 2 to 1/2 lakh uh, worth of uh, gear inside wow so that is good uh, uh, luckily i have not uh, i have not experienced it so far and i don't want to experience that because uh, testing is one side and uh, actually experience it experiencing it on the other side is way different yeah coming back to this uh, yeah so i think this this is regarding the that solar panel that you were talking about so the person says uh, dr rakesh again says there are companies who are into e waste management sector and they are uh, reiterating solar as a backpack in charging facility all the best carbonado for the same so maybe i think that was the like you yeah we'll take it from manan 
yeah <laughs> maybe there was a indirect uh, message to you that please do something about it maybe you can uh, come up with that uh, with that idea uh, somebody has also said i would love to meet your design team at carbonado so that is mean sketch so i think you are most welcome yeah. we have a facility in bangalore anytime you are most welcome right so uh, now coming back to the conversation i have one basic very basic question while you were starting this initiative of coming out with the carbonado bags what made you feel that you should enter into a very niche segment which is specifically for motorcycling like uh, till date before that i think there were only very few uh, companies or players there in the market who were making bags specifically for bikers so what made you uh, push into that side so i mean as i said uh, initially we were looking at making one of the kind backpack uh, when i when you said niche segment for the uh, riding community or a, or a, uh, you know the motorcycle community we planned for we initially started the backpack as a tech pack i mean i'm sure uh, it was available until now we had to kind of uh, discontinue the model because we are coming up with a different model called as uh, carbonado edge uh, which has a similar functions so we we started with a tech pack to safeguard the gear and everything around it and then we we understood this can be made as a as a riding backpack to for the sure uh, uh, you know aerodynamics of it and the, of course the safety and the other polycarbonate shell and you know the uh, your uh, you know crash proof we wouldn't want to uh, you know support the statement because we don't have the any kind of uh, uh, certification for it or a testing a thorough testing for it but yes we can uh, say that it, it has been a crash proof uh, backpack so far so yes we've made all this together and we put everything together into this so why not i mean there is something there's a huge vacuum as i said earlier uh, for a good backpack they've not been there much in the market all all backpacks you see they're very very normally made i mean there is no design thinking in it very few features there has not been thought out for the need so that's where we came into a thing where why not let's let's focus deeply into the 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 segment so and the reason we could uh, get on to adventure like this literally an adventure like this because my partner has uh, i mean their their family business was into uh, i mean uh, the, the backpack manufacturing for the last 50 years since 1970 they have been in the backpack manufacturing so with their deep understanding of the craft I mean i would definitely want to say it is a craft because it is completely handmade so they had very deep understanding of the materials and how things are made and all that so it is not uh, possible for any startup or a new company to come out and start making something so complex so yes yeah we have a background so we could make something so complex and at the same time when we can cater to a, a market like this uh, i mean where uh, 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 you know the community as as the riding community is going bigger and bigger uh, and they need uh, enough gear Uh, to support their uh, touring and all that so we we thought there is a opportunity being honest and then we could make something so beautiful so yeah and it uh, you know sometimes you make things and then things automatically happen we can't just you know come up come back and say explain you things why but it worked out and uh, people have uh, blessed us uh, and started ordering and they were issues they they helped us solving those problems and things uh, went on from there Okay. Right. So, yeah. So I I completely agree with you that sometimes you don't really have to think it through that why you are starting it. You just start it, and then things just carry on. It is just Point like yeah. it is just like XBHP. XBHP was not started with the motive of making something like what we are today. It was just started. It was just started by Sunny with the thought that okay, he just wants to start or he just wants to make a website for his bike. and it sooner or later became a cult which we are enjoying right now <laughs> so now coming back to that uh, actually i have another question but before that uh, somebody is asking this question again and again so abhi i would like to tell you uh, you are asking the budget for singapore delhi to singapore right uh, that is a very uh, subjective question we can actually take that uh, question separately maybe you can send us an email or maybe uh, drop us a message on the xbp forum we can discuss about it separately because 
there are multiple factors involved in that so that is to answer your question now coming back to the point of coming out with a biker's backpack right now at this point in time the situations are very tough we all are going through a lockdown and the covid has affected all kind of markets every industry very deeply so how has it affected carbonado and what steps have you taken or rather what it has taught you to uh, survive uh, in the industry because uh, when things like this or when situations like these come uh, we actually evolve we understand we learn new things so how have you been able yeah, to last last six now? months has been quite a journey i mean i would say from the uh, when it started in the month of march to till date i mean we had to start we we started our new unit new production unit in the month of march and uh, march 23rd or 24th i don't remember very clearly but 23rd or 24th we had to shut down everything and uh, things didn't uh, go the way we anticipated but yes i mean uh, we had to pivot i mean a lot of uh, people have been doing right now the need of the hour we had to uh, you know we pivoted the model into making mass we've come up with a brand called as airfit and uh, we were one of those uh, few companies in the beginning of mean of april we started uh, churning out thankfully we had uh, our uh, support staff uh, who could help us to build something like this and we've we've come up with the the airfit uh, uh, you know a four layer six layer uh, mask uh, for people and in need and we also could you know from our side we could support a lot of uh, you know covid uh, uh, workers the frontline workers and all that i mean doctors and your all your hospitals we could donate some of the three ply masks and all that whenever there has been uh, a requirement in and around our community yes coming to the point uh, what all it taught us and how do how did we survive yes we could pivot the model into making of the mask the entire unit was completely making masks and how did it actually impacted us this in a very positive way we could actually you know uh, send out masks to almost 16 countries i am very proud today to tell you share everybody around that yes we are one of those companies where of bangalore we could uh, export almost probably 10 uh, almost 10 lakh masks we could uh, export to uh, 16 countries across the world which was not possible uh, before covid situation because there was a lot of uh, uh, china products coming in and there was very little opportunity for uh, indian manufacturers to kind of excel in this field so the requirement was so huge so the dependencies on other markets were also picking up like india is one of uh, one of the markets uh, where the global acceptance is pretty good right now so we were we were able to export our products to uh, european markets which is little rare uh, for indian manufacturers to do that especially in this segment in the pp segment uh, we could do that i mean uh, and that has given us a lot of uh, benefit uh, in terms of understanding those markets and yes it definitely gave us a, a you know opportunity to you know create another brand called as airfit we are coming up with more interesting products in that uh, field as well where we are coming up with some we actually tied up with a company called as uh, polygene it's a sweden based uh, company for uh, uh, something called as viral off we every mass uh, what we manufacture is been uh, will go through a, a process chemical treatment uh, called as viral off which will uh, you know ward off uh, any viruses which is kind of it's like a self cleaning uh, mask and it is proven uh, by the uh, team in sweden and all that so that you know collaboration uh, gave us a very good uh, global footprint right now and wow. yes uh, from there on yeah again things got in better and we've got back into our core business right now we've been uh, manufacturing quite a bit in terms of backpacks and everything we are back in business i would say uh, from there on is that that's that's really great and i'm really proud uh, of what you have done and coming out with the mask at the time when it was really needed and uh, supplying it to almost what 16 countries that you have mentioned yeah. which yeah. itself is very commendable now uh, going back uh, actually somebody has asked this question and it actually reminded me as well about this point that the question was 
about the 21 day challenge so uh, somebody has written can't wait to see Thank products so for the question actually <laughs> and when can we expect them so when can we expect them i am also really excited to know about it so another important uh, you know learning we had uh, during the covid situation where most of us uh, were uh, you know low and we didn't know what to do next i mean we came up with this idea called uh, 21 day challenge i mean we were we were so happy with the kind of response we got i mean we were able to the day we started we were not even sure that we could come up with something like this and all 21 unique designs yes uh, we are doing one after the other all the designs are will come into life that's a promise we've uh, we've made long back yes we are working on it step by step uh, you would see in the next couple of weeks from now you would see a lot of products will come into life and there have been a repeated request in spite of we've not been able to post anything related to the apologies from our side that we have not been able to uh, communicate to all you guys that yes this is the progress and we've been working on it yes there will be a lot of videos coming in in the future uh, talking about how the products were made from the scratch and how we actually went into the production model and all that yes the products will come in the next couple of weeks we will start launching one after the other so yes that's the thing right so uh, in the same line uh, i have another comment and it's a question actually is carbonado thinking to amalgamate duffel bags and tank bags into mainstream uh, like thai bags and backpack so okay so uh, yes uh, yes to a question yes duffel bags we are coming up with it amalgamating that into a, a you know tail bag is not something we have done right now yes we are coming up with a, a, a just a stand alone duffel bag i'm sure uh, it was part of our 21 day challenge yes it is come into a amazing shape we want to see you know we want to roll that out into the market understand more into it and then we probably yes why not i mean if th things work out and uh, if we can be part of the tail back too then we would have to make it as well lovely so that is great and now with that um, i i actually uh, okay so deepak gupta ji is saying hi to you hi pradeep hi uh, hi deepak sir <laughs> so uh fine now coming back to the uh, mainstream question that i have uh, here is that uh while you yourself i i think you yourself as a person you are not a biker much right but you have people in your team who are bikers so yeah, most that, of our team members are bikers most <laughs> of our team members are bikers doesn't that excite you we not we were not choosy about them being very honest with you we were not choosy about it it, it just happened it just happened most of them who all associated with us who all are right now the full time our team members of our company they're all bikers maybe we you know attracted them into the company yeah, yeah maybe that maybe they knew that okay they are getting into the company which is about biking so that is what has attracted you uh, attracted them towards your company now uh Without, before we actually go ahead and conclude the discussion i just wanted to uh, know like is there any message that you would like to give to the bikers uh, besides the questions that i have already asked which you would like to say from your side a message i mean message in terms of i would say this i mean obviously ride safe and be safe in this environment i'm sure it must be very very daunting on you guys you know staying home not been able to ride but yeah things are opening quite bit i guess uh, from next month things will start opening up and already already lot of uh, I mean deepak gupta sir kind of they are already started uh, riding but yes i think solo ride will be a big thing in the next couple of uh, months because group rides are not going to be too much of a fashion right now i guess uh, yes try ride safe yes we have your back as we always say uh take uh, carbonado gear with you and uh, we try to kind of you know virtually safeguard your uh, gear as well as your back to an extent perfect perfect so uh with that uh, okay so there is this comment once again i was about to conclude although we have already discussed about this particular point the question is uh can i know or actually it should have been may i know uh, may i know more about the upcoming carbonado products so the question has come up once again so why don't you just answer it quickly <laughs> okay 
so we are uh, i mean we are definitely fulfilling all the products uh, which are part of the 21 day design challenge so some of the products as we always uh, uh, you know call ourselves we are a urban mobility gear company not just the uh, uh, you know bikers uh, uh, gear company like a lot of other brands are yes we we are looking at a lot of uh, we are looking at a 50 50 kind of product uh, ratio we are coming up with as i right uh, said before we are talking about saddle bags tail bags tank bags and one amazing i mean i am not allowed to uh, share this but yes i would of excitement i'm sharing it <laughs> yes yeah, so we are coming up with one of the kind uh, riders backpack uh, where we've got couple of paid patents already for the utility as well as the uh, design patent we've got it so i would say that is something which we all as a team looking forward to or something and we will be launching it in the month of september so yeah watch out our space to you know for more details regarding that yes that is going to be one of the kind uh, riders backpack in the industry so far that's a promise wow, wow. so i am actually very excited i am personally very excited because i yeah, think yeah, you want you <laughs> haven't seen it yes i can yeah because you no know, actually also like uh, i've been using personally carbonado for almost 2 years now and uh, i don't feel like shifting to any other bag uh, that is just my personal choice but then i am excited to see what is coming next and as you said it is going to be really exciting so now i am very excited now yes i mean uh, to answer little more on the, i'm sorry uh, to answer yeah, little more on that question we are coming up with almost 20 products in the uh, next four months things wow. yeah, i mean all the 20 21 designs what we have promised will come in the next six months apart from that there are a series of other uh, luggage systems for the uh, biking community so yes there is a lot of action happening since we have a bigger space we have a dedicated uh, design and a research team in house right. so we are able to churn out more products from the scratch and yes we are also as i as i mentioned earlier we are making sure that our all of our products are completely made here in india even the ancillary pro, uh, uh, you know fabrics to all whatever little things what you see i mean backpack is made out of mostly un- 80 to 100 uh, different uh, pieces basically so all of this we are trying to procure it locally so that it will you know create a you know ecosystem locally rather than just pulling up from somewhere and claiming that we are just making an india we are looking uh, very strong uh, in the next 6 months we're going to be achieving that goal where we we make almost 80 to 90% of the bag uh, uh, completely made out here wow that's really commendable and that's really uh, also very uh, you can say it is very motivating for all of us that yes you as a company you are really vocal about being local because most of the time companies or any individual also they actually try to look for the easier way easier way out and uh, they think that okay if that is already available in a in different market i think it's time i, I, I think we can I think it's time, man, and for all of us to put our foot down and you know lo- look for the local options and try and make something locally. And trust me, if we if companies like us, all of the production companies and the brands come together and start making everything locally, the ancillary companies will grow commendable, and they can also achieve the cost. You know, whatever the cost comparison, what usually happens, why we prefer China is because of cost. no cost right. comparison happens and we can probably bring down the cost for all the uh, you know ancillary products what we pick up to make the product in itself so that that. that is a dream of us you know when we started this company so i think it is happening now uh, yeah. because of various reasons but i i'd call upon all the brands who you are associated and probably think i mean people like you you I mean you are the media you you should be able to help us i mean you guys have helped us from what we were to what are we today as a brand and a it's major thank you because of the good quality product it's all about it's no, all because of the good quality uh, uh, absolutely but there should be a platform also to promote something like this letting people know can work up till a certain uh, point after that it is up to the customers it is up to the end users if they like it they like it if they don't like it doesn't matter who is promoting you or who is saying that okay it's an amazing product buy it nobody is going to buy it the effort is always been to make amazing products yeah i mean trust me but there is always need for promotion too 
Absolutely. So for that, like actually hats off to Carbonado and all the other manufacturers like Rhinox is there, Exor is there. So yeah, hats yeah. off to you guys who are working so hard to make everything here in India. And that is why we are also very proud to be associated because we ourselves are also the thoroughbred Indian company or community or whatever you want to call us. Uh, we are also completely uh, thoroughbred India. Now, with that, uh, okay, so I think Deepak Gupta ji is uh, getting uh, very uh, aspirational and, and uh, actually he is uh, asking you, are there any plans to entering in the riding jackets and pants? Now, I don't know. Sanji, <laughs> no, not, not for now. To be honest, I want to stick to my core competence, which is making luggage systems. There are some amazing brands out there who are doing a fab job. Uh, you know, making the, the jackets and all. So we want to stick to our uh, our forte, which we've been working for the last four five years. So we want to kind of we, we have so much to uh, give out into the market. I think it'll take another four five years to kind of complete uh, whatever we have in the pipeline. Absolutely. So great. Thank you so much, Pradeep. It was really amazing speaking with you. And before uh, we go ahead. Uh, and conclude the session i would like to thank you for taking out time and being here uh, with us taking on the questions directly from the uh, viewers and answering them on the live session because that is sometimes very tricky to answer the questions which are there and i was uh, hard enough to ask those questions directly without even filtering them so uh, yeah so with that for that thank you so much and I hope everybody also uh, enjoyed it. Would you like to say any uh, goodbye words to anybody out there? I mean, I mean, uh, thank you so much, guys. Everybody who supported us. I mean, I would, I would, I never had an opportunity or a platform where I could thank those uh, first hundred customers who has supported us when we were nobody. I mean, today we are a brand. We have so much of tham jam. Uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> around us uh, and uh, and people buying us and supporting us is good. But back then, when we were nobody, I mean, the first hundred consumers bought our product when they know that the product is going to deliver to them or reach to them in the next two months. Where we are in a day where we are, don't wait even for a day. I mean, there's a next day delivery, 24 hour delivery, and all that. So right. they were the people who supported us in the beginning and they waited for almost 60 days, 65 days for the product to reach them. I would say we are what we are today because of those 100 customers who trusted us in the first month. And trust me, that has gave us a lot of confidence to kind of start you know, building the entire brand, what we are today. Absolutely. So uh, thank you so much, Pradeep. And with that, I would like to uh, say thank you to uh, all the audience who were there live watching us and uh, asking us questions. And before I go ahead and conclude the session, yes, we will be coming back soon with somebody else, some other interesting personality to discuss more about bikes or biking. But then since we were talking uh, about Carbonado with Pradeep, so I would like to uh, reiterate one thing that XBHP Carbonado GT2 and XBHP Vector is right now out there with a 17% of discount. You can go ahead on our website. You can go on xbhp.com the, in the shop section or you can go on to the Carbonado's website and just avail the discounts by putting XBHP17. That is the code and avail the 17% discount on both the products. With that, uh, thank you so much. And Abhi, since you are asking it again, I would like to answer your question once again. We will, yes, do a separate uh, session for that or something, some other way we will answer your question about the budget for the Singapore ride. With that, thank you so much and uh, goodbye. Ride safe. Take care. And we will be back sometime soon. Bye-bye.